stop, stop treating, treating women, women like, like shit, shit while they're, while they're alive. alive. When I wonder what would have happened with Sinead if she had had the tools that we have. If she had been able to say, you know what, like, fuck you record label, I didn't want you anyway. Whatever promoters, agents, gatekeepers, if she had been able to walk away from that with all of the goodwill that was felt towards her, all of the goodwill that was everywhere around the world that who wanted to hear her voice, her voice, her story, her take, if she had been able to directly reach those people, I think we would have had a very different artist. I think the, the appreciation that we should have right now and the responsibility that you have, that an audience has, to not take for granted the power that we can harness if we just do it together. The fear, at least from the artists and from the journalists, around telling the truth and being buried by the system, by the algorithm, by whatever, is going to lessen and the power of our connection and the power of the truth and the sharing will grow. And everything man has said just now, like I know we have it in us. Like I know we have the empathy. I know we have the ability to see one another. It's there, we feel it. It's such a funny thing, this whole empathy thing, because it's like every single time, every single time I see people face to face, that is the thing that they feel like they're desperate yearning for but then the thing that we use the most that we pretend engages us with actual community somehow it has completely lacked and when Sinead passed there was this brilliant beautiful photo it was a photo of her with her ha hair covered in a hijab while smoking a cigarette her face is a face of lifetimes that of pain and of self-interrogation and awareness that many of us will never know on that photo somebody put Stop, Stop treating, treating women, women like, like shit, shit while, while they're, they're alive. alive. <laughs> I love that. Good job. Oh my God. That's it. We have it in us because every single time one of our favorite artists passes away, we're like, that's when we decide to write their eulogy or we, we decide to tell them how much we love. Tell the people that you love that you love them now. If you appreciate someone's work, tell them. I promise you. And give them money. That's what Amanda says. <laughs> I'm going to say it. <laughs>